So, you flipped through Batzilla CM's presets and your mind has been blown by two things. The epic sound and the epic quantity of cabling used in even a fairly basic patch. In reality, it's not as scary as it looks. We're going to build this gorgeous retro synth pad from scratch to show you just how easy it can be. Enter the patch browser and load the 00, zero user init patch. Get used to seeing this patch because we're going to be using it a lot in our tutorials. There are already two cables. The red output of oscillator 1 is connected to a grey input on the filter. The filter's red LP24, that's a low pass 24 output, is routed to out 1. So it's a standard single oscillator and low pass filter setup. In the oscillator 1 module, twist the PD knob to morph from a sine to a sawtooth wave using phase distortion. Set it to 100 when you're done. The two drop down menus below the PD knob set the target waveform. With the second at its default of same, the first works like a standard waveform selector. However, with the second menu set differently, the oscillator plays the two waves back to back. Set the waveforms to saw and impulse for a squelchy tone and adjust PD to hear the tones available. Set it to 100% when you're finished. Let's use envelope 1 to sweep the PD knob automatically with each note played. First, set PD to 20 to give our modulation some headroom to work with. Now, see the unlabeled knob next to PD? That's the phase distortion modulation control. Drag from envelope 1's red output to its grey input to create a connection. Then set the knob to 60. So far, there's no audible change. Turn your attention to envelope 1 and adjust the sliders to shape the modulation. We set attack to 15. Decay and sustain to 50. And release to 80, giving a long tail. This also affects the volume of the patch, and that's because in the out one section, the menu below volume is set to env1. Not every modulation routing requires a cable in Batzilla CM. Our sound now has tons of juicy harmonics, ripe for filtering. In the filter section, pull cutoff down to 115 and set resonance to 20. Let's get the filter moving using the LFO. Drag from LFO1's left red output to the filter's lower left grey input for filter cutoff modulation. Turn the latter's knob up to 10 for a gentle throb. Adjust LFO1's wave parameter to 25 to change the LFO waveform to a soft and sawtooth shape. It sounds good, but it's lacking atmosphere, so let's do something about that. First, double click the LFO's rate knob to slow it right down. And 
and then turn on the FX delay module to drench our retro synth sound in tape style echoes. Now, how about bringing in Oscillator 2? Drag from its lower red output to the filter spare input on the far left and set the oscillator's volume to 16 and tune to 12, that is, an octave above. Let's use Oscillator 2's fractalized section to create a hard sync effect. Set its drop down menu to saw and twist the adjacent knob to hear its effect. Set it to 1.10 when you're done. To add yet more movement, drag from envelope 2's red output to the fractalized modulation knob's grey input, increasing the latter to 1.30, so that the envelope controls the effect. Finish off by setting envelope 2's attack, decay, sustain and release to 0, 70, 0 and 70. From here, it's up to you, but we've got a few suggestions to try. How about detuning the oscillator 2 with the modifier knob? Increase filter drive for a harder sound. Patch in a different filter type with the six red outputs. or select Envelope 2 in LFO1's Rate Mod menu before cranking the latter right up for envelope-driven LFO speed. And that's it, your first Batzilla CM patch. over 30 exclusive plugins. Get hundreds of pro quality samples and power up your production skills with in-depth tutorials. We break it down for you step by step and you'll see exactly how it's done in expert video guides and producer masterclass sessions with pro producers. Get all this and more with Computer Music Magazine every month on iPad and iPhone, PC and Mac, Android, and in print. <laughs>